Do not just jump into creating content for your website using artificial intelligence and things like ChatGPT without understanding the real risks for you and your business beforehand. And that's what I'm gonna cover in this quick training video. And I've got six points. The last two are pretty serious. Now, real quick, if you do like to hear tips about your website and selling online, then be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube and hit that bell notification. All right, let's get into the risk number one, which is the element of removing creativity from the content that you're putting on your website. Now, ChatGPT and other artificial intelligences, they've got access to a ton of information, but they can only draw from that, and it removes the ability to be creative, to think outside the box, and to, to come up with new ideas. The second risk is plagiarism and just downright incorrect information. Now, it's supposed to be unique, but it is pulling from resources, and there is a real risk of plagiarism, and it's hard for you to test every single piece of content if you are taking a lot from that. Now, if you've played with these systems before, you've probably spotted that there is incorrect information coming out of it. And you don't wanna be publishing wrong info on your website and claiming it as your own. That's just not gonna work out for you. Risk number three is the lack of the human touch. Now there is a lot that this artificial intelligence can do, but it cannot show compassion and it cannot add the human element, which is often why people are drawn to you in the first place. The fourth risk is the inability to adapt to your business's unique voice. As I speak, I've got a particular way of addressing and our content often comes across in that way. But if you are just pulling info from artificial intelligence, then that is removed and your personal brand or your brand of your website and the tonality that you communicate in, it's entirely lost. And that's part of your company's branding that you really wanna hold on to. Now, the last two, these are the serious ones. The second to last one is that there is a real risk to your SEO rankings in the future. Now, because of the massive information that's being created by artificial intelligence, other search engines like Google, they're looking at this and considering adjusting their algorithms to downrank the SEO of websites that create content using the software. And their reason actually kind of makes sense. They do not want a whole bunch of fly-by-night or overnight experts to suddenly pop up on the internet talking about everything and anything where they can pretend to be an expert by simply drawing information from these artificial intelligence systems like ChatGPT. And that they do not want. So they want to protect the real creators by downranking the SEO of companies, of websites that are hosting content from the system. And that may only come into play later on. So you wanna be careful about using and leveraging this information too much because it could hurt you further down the road. And the last point, and this is a real interesting one, is that this could be the end of search engine optimization altogether because there are hundreds of millions of people, literally, who are flocking to chat GPT and other artificial intelligence softwares. And people are going there to search search terms which they would previously have gone to Google or other search engines to have searched for. And when they did it there, they would have landed on your site because you had high search engine optimization rankings. Now, if everybody's going there, well, the artificial intelligence is giving them the answer without them coming to your website. And so if you are creating content for your site in order to boost your SEO rankings, well, you could just be feeding the boost and this could be a zero end game for all of us. And that would not be a great result. So these right here are the risks of using content generated from there in order to potentially try to grow the SEO on your website. Because yes, we want more, more visitors to come to our site and to appear that we know more about it but let's stick to what we know best. And ultimately, if you are looking for ways to grow the sales on your website, then click beneath this link on YouTube, beneath this, this video and see the link which takes you to a free training which is done on how to get more sales from the visitors that are already coming to your site. Because you, if you have a website, well, you should already have people coming to it. And if you can increase the conversion rate, then you will get more sales from the same amount of traffic without having to go and get more traffic from SEO or paid ads or anything else. So if you wanna learn how to get more, uh, more business and more sales from the people already visiting your site, then go beneath this video on YouTube and click that link and go and get that free training right now.